If you're going to bite something, you've got to be able to catch it first. So how does a 45 feet predator the size of a large shipping container keep up with its prey? The secret must lie in their four boat-sized flippers. The closest match to a Pliosaurus flipper today belongs to a creature far less frightening. Penguins may look funny when they waddle on land, but underwater, they're like rockets, whizzing around at speeds of up to 20 miles per hour. Biomechanics expert Flavio Noca is trying to understand how they reach these extraordinary speeds. Using a high-speed camera, he films penguins moving around underwater. This camera is actually able to go up to 12,000 images per second. Flavio's footage reveals that penguins aren't swimming with their flippers. They are flapping them like a bird. And by twisting their wings as they flap, penguins can propel themselves forward on the upstroke, as well as the downstroke. The Pliosaurus had not two, but four flippers, and they were gigantic. All signs point to this mega monster being not only one of the biggest, but also one of the fastest predators in the ocean. Aerospace engineer Luke Musket is investigating how they moved. Using x-rays of fossils, Luke has recreated a pair of pliosaur flippers. Pliosaurs were really good swimmers, and the aim of the game is to chase down the prey. And obviously, to do that, you need to be very fast. You need to have a high thrust and a high acceleration. By suspending the wings in a tank, he's trying to determine how the front and back wings work together to propel the Pliosaurus. Blue and red dyes reveal how each wing moves the water. By harnessing the wake of the front wing, the pliosaurus could generate two and a half times as much thrust as it would with just one set of wings. And that is how this mega beast gains sudden and tremendous acceleration. Its prey wouldn't have stood a chance. Oh, <laughs> my